Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of FTB Unleashed. How are you guys doing today? You know, I'm doing really good. As you can see, some things have happened, and you guys are probably wondering, how are you a wizard, Bao? How are you have nothing on but still? You've still got armor rating, and you still got that energy thing on the right, and you can clearly see I still have this on. What have you done? Well, oh, oh yeah, uh, you know, I've been messing around with the controls and doing a bunch of different things, and just looking around in the configs and stuff like that, and I found this button. I bet you guys are wondering, what is this? Well, it, it's a way to customize the power armor. It's You can literally go through and, like, enable certain things, like if you want to have it look a certain way change the color for it like i can change the helmet you can change it to like all red then it'll be look it'll be red i mean it's really cool the versatility of this power armor but here's the thing i didn't you know i, I like it but i don't need it so i just turned all of it off and now it looks like i have no armor on but i can still fly i can still do all that fun stuff i you know it still sounds like i have it on because you can hear that that robotic sound so that's really cool so yeah we got that now and I really like it. I prefer it. Also, I hate it when I always restart my game and it re uh, it undoes my uh, flight. So that's a weird thing. So that's a thing. So yeah, we still have power armor and we're still, <laughs> we can still fly around and stuff. But yeah, you can't see it. Also, I've been messing around with the energy settings. And I really was getting to the point where I just did not need all of the power that it was giving me. So I literally turned the battery size down as far as I could possibly get it, which is pretty much nothing um but yeah i really didn't need all the extra power that i was that i had because really to be honest i i wasn't going through it and not only that but i really couldn't charge it and i've been upgrading some things i'll show you in just a second but um yeah i turned it all the way down and really i haven't seen a difference for any of it because i'm not running it down fast enough so that's a thing also i i uh installed the solar generator on the helmet i installed the kinetic generator on the chest plate the well the kinetic generator on the legs the thermal generator on the chest plate and then i didn't really do anything to the boots so yeah we have a little bit of a charge on our armor every now and again you know when we're running when we get hot you know when we're out in the sunlight so that's really cool so it automatically charges itself so really to be honest i don't really have a power problem with this armor anymore so it's really really cool also created this thing called a power fist and I absolutely love this thing. It looks so cool. Look at it. It's like a little claw. And you know what this thing does? Literally everything. It can be an axe. Watch. It can be an axe. It can be a shovel. And let's put this back because I don't want to ruin the landscape around here. And it can be a, a pick. I absolutely love this thing. It's so awesome. And not to, not to mention it could be a screwdriver or a wrench or whatever it's called. I don't want to wrench that thing, so let's just wrench this. See, it could be a wrench. Oh, now I have to get this back in there. Because if you uh, try to place it without breaking the cable, <laughs> it'll blow up. So, yeah, that's a thing. Let's put these back in there. Let's get rid of this. And then put this back in there. See, there we go. And it can be a wrench. It could be a leaf blower. Literally, it's a leaf blower. Let me see if I can find some debris. Watch. It just gets rid of all the leaves and stuff. Like, look, watch. All of these leaves are gone, which is really, really cool, and I love that. <laughs> that is so cool. It can also be a tree tap. I took our tree tap and put it in our power fist. Let's get up here. Watch. Bam. Just get all this stuff off. I love that. It's a tree tap. Let's see. What else is it? Shears. It's a <laughs> It does shears now, which is really cool. At least I thought it did. Anyways, that's a thing. Anyways, it, it can do shears. Um... Let's see, it's a hoe, and it has something called this Laptronic, I think it's called, a, what is it called? Uh, a Lux Capacitor, not to be confused with the <laughs> with the uh, Flux Capacitor. Don't ask me about the Flux Capacitor, it's a secret. But anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, these things are the Lux Capacitors. And what they do is they're like torches, and I can literally just shoot these out anywhere I want. So I basically have unlimited torches now, which is really I didn't need because of the fact I have uh, night vision. Because if I take this off, you can see the clear difference. Here's night, and here's, you know, night visioned. So I don't have to worry about any of, like, torches and stuff. So that's a cool thing. Anyways, 
more updates i've been you know working around the base you know adding a bunch more solars i was able to create th three more uh, advanced solar panels using the the mass fab actually i also built me a recycler and has been making scrap out of just sugarcane which is really cool because we have unlimited sugarcane pretty much because of all of the stuff around us. So that's really cool. So I've been making scrap for that and I'm able to create a three more advanced solar panels, which is really, 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 really helpful. Also, I have upgraded our MFE to an MFFS. This thing, I also still have my other MFE, so that's a thing. Um, It holds 10,000 EU now instead of just uh, 600,000. I mean, 10 million, not 10,000, 10 million e <laughs> uh EU, sorry, I had a little seizure there. <laughs> and then, uh, that's really cool. But unfortunately, when I did that, I had to upgrade uh, all these machines with uh, the next level upgrades, or else they'd blow up. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, this episode, I wanted to get into applied energistics. And I've, I've been, oh, I want to right now. I just won't do it. So anyways, so let's get into applied energistics. So the first thing is we're going to be needing for applied energistics. Oh, I'm so ready for this, guys. You guys have no idea how ready I am for applied energistics. Um, I can't, I, I, I hate these, I really hate these freaking chests. But yeah, let's get on to it. Let's, I, first thing we're going to need, we're going to need a controller. And which is going to need something called an Emmy Advanced Processor, which is going to need a, either a diamond, hold on, a redstone diamond chipset, uh, silicon and flux dust, or it's going to be needing this Advanced Processor Assembly, which is then going to need diamonds, redstone, and silicon. Anyways, long story short, we're going to have to figure out how to get silicon. So, let me look, how can you make silicon? think you can either smelt nether quartz dust I used to, oh, I guess you can't do the glass method anymore I mean the sand method I guess that's in a later version so let's see do we have any yeah we do we have some on us um how many upgrades do you have let's get some more throw that in there BAM <sighs> this should be fun I, I can't wait to get this together you guys have no idea also I uh, built a chunk loader so the uh, my solars are working all the time so that's really cool um, let's just go ahead and get this and get this going. I just wanted to do a couple things with you guys and then I'm going to do most of it off screen so we don't bore you guys. I'm going to need this diamond cutting tool which is going to need iron and sticks. Let's see, do we have any iron in here? I've been running through a lot of my iron. I haven't reset up my ore processing yet so that's the thing I really need to do. Um, do I, am I really out of iron? No way. No way am I out of iron. No way. Am I really out of iron? Oh my god, I'm out of iron. This is, this is huh? Go figure. I'm out of iron. Um, so let's go ahead and process up some more let's go over here. I love how fast we are. That's really cool. <laughs> I only have one upgrade in there. Oh, come on, I need. I really need to make more of these upgrades. I just haven't had time. I wanted to wait until I got ME set up or my AE system set up until I started crafting a bunch of like really complex things. So there we go. We got two of these. I'm gonna get some sticks. Do I have any sticks? I got four sticks. I got regular plank logs. One, two, and then bam. Sweet, and now let's go ahead. I wanna make the knife. Let's make two of them, because these things do have a durability. And let's go ahead and craft. I think, let's see, we're gonna need diamonds. This thing's gonna take a lot of our diamonds away, so that's the reason uh, I, I'm really glad we have a lot of diamonds. So what do we need? Uh, silicon, redstone, there, and lag. Why am I lagging? Oh, weird. Redstone there and there and bam, got him. Sweet. So now that we have 32 of these, I don't think we're gonna be needing that many. Well, probably we're probably gonna use all of this. Give me that. Give me that. And these things are gonna smelt up. So yeah, that's a fun thing. Also, uh, in this because if you guys are used to applied energy six two, this isn't e this. It's not this easy to make these processors. This is why I like applied energy six one because it's a lot easier to make the processors. Um. So, bam. Do I not have... I don't have another quartz on me. Give me. I thought I had another quartz. And then... Wait. No. 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 Bam. There we go. Uh, can I make a stack of this? Yeah, I can. Sweet. Um, then we can make... Oh, my goodness. I'm still out of iron. Um, so, the things that we're going to be needing for this. We're going to be needing uh, an ME controller. ME drive, which is going to house all of our drive stuff. We're going to need a terminal. I'm probably also going to make a crafting terminal. So I have that. Which is going to take this uh, storage cell. Which is just this. Which isn't that bad. Because then you could make the basic processor the old fashioned way. By using the basic processor assembly. And then doing that. Which isn't that hard. Um, 
Also, you're going to need to make a bunch of drives, which probably I'm going to start off just making either 4K or 16K and not really worried about the 64K. Because right now, I don't need, like, mass storage. I just need a different types. Like, all of this stuff requires different types. So, I'm going to need... If you guys did not know how that worked, each uh, one of these can hold up to 63 different types and then a different amount of bytes. Which the bytes is basically... Um, each type has a number of bytes that it takes, and then additional to that, uh, that that same type is another is a little bit more bytes. So it's it's really complicated, but at the same time, it's not. Um, I'm I'm gonna need more types than I do bytes at this point. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do mass storage with that, with a bunch of different uh, 16Ks or maybe 4Ks. I haven't decided. Depends on which one I get to first. So we're gonna need a controller. We're gonna need a drive. We're gonna need both terminals. I'm gonna make both terminals anyways. And then, um, I'm not going to worry about the Mac yet. If you guys don't know about the Mac, this is AE1, Applied Energy 61. And then you get to do auto crafting with my with the Mac. And I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. I really love the Mac. I really do. If you guys did not know, I, I just, I love Applied Energy 61. It's a lot better than Applied Energy 62. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, I love creating the Mac. It's just a symbol of power in my eyes, and I just love it. So yeah, the Mac is so much fun to do. So yeah, I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get the crafting. I'm probably here's what I have in mind because I love this area. Don't get me wrong, but this is not gonna be our main base. You guys, some of you guys were probably a little bit afraid about that. It's like, oh my god, it's really small. Is he gonna live here? Oh my god. No, this is my power center. This is my solar power center for right now. This is where all of my solar power is gonna come from. And then we're going to use a bunch of, um, what's it called? Um, power converters to make RF, um, not RF, MJ out of this, because RF isn't a thing yet. Um, and then use MJs to power other machines that I'm going to be using, because I'm going to have to make different conduits, different stuff with thermal expansion, and use that for ore processing. It's a thing. But anyways, I'm going to get all that doing sooner or later, but I, I, I want to do a different kind of base and I you know nine out of ten times whenever I do a base oh hello stupid island I'm gonna kill I'm gonna take you out <laughs> I'm just joking that island's pretty cool um I always do a above ground base usually in mountains and I don't want to do that this season I want to do a water base because it's just there's so much water around here why would you not want to do a water base so I'm probably oh what are you a little sphere thing because uh, I had a little glitch in the in the ground but yeah I want to do kind of a water base and there's more of them what are those what kind of stone is that I like that stone I might actually use some of that I've been looking for building blocks lately because if you guys did not know um I goofed when I did the world gen and I didn't enable uh, biomes of plenty I don't know if you guys have noticed that yet but I, the reason I did that is because there's so many different biomes and I didn't like how it really generated them. So I just set it off and I didn't realize that I, I limited myself in building blocks. So I'm looking for any type of building blocks I can get and I really like how that looks. I think that's like a darker color. I'm going to have to go down there and find out what that looks like. But anyways, I want to do an underwater base, but not just underwater. I want to do above water. I want to do an on the water base and then maybe integrate underwater soon. So that's what I have in mind. So I'm probably going to be doing that in the future really, probably really soon. Because I'm going to probably get, this is my plan. I want to get AE going. I want to get all my stuff stored on drives. And then so it's easier to transport. That's my plan. So yeah, I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get started on all this stuff, get all of this going and craft it up, and then once I have some progress, oh my god, there's a this is a thing on my back. <laughs> this looks stupid. But anyways, I'm gonna get all this going, get all this crafted up, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, see you in a little bit, guys. All right, guys, welcome back. As you can see, I did it. <laughs> I've actually been spending a lot of time doing this, and uh, it's actually been a qu quite a while since our last little clip. I think it's been a little over a day. I've been doing some stuff, and um, I finally got this done. It actually didn't take that long. I just uh, couldn't record the little next bit, so I went and did a bunch of stuff off screen. So, yeah, I did finish it up. I only made a bunch of 4Ks. That's all I really needed. I got rid of all the chests over here, all that gunk that was over here in like, the barrels and stuff. Oh, it's done and over with. And I'm really glad that we're able to do this because now that we have almost, well, I'm not going to say infinite storage, but 
a lot better storage than a bunch of chests. So, yeah, we've got everything in here. And I kind of, I went through, sorry, I hit my mic. Sorry, um, I went through the bottom of it and I kind of just got rid of all this, you know, steel stuff and uh, um, all these stuff that I'm never going to be using. Like, I don't know if I'm ever going to use a crowbar. Why? <laughs> I'll keep it. Uh, Thaumium pick, uh, you know, I might need that later. Um... But yeah, I've been just going through and getting rid of all the armor and stuff that I won't be needing. Oh, I forgot my... <laughs> uh, I forgot my thing. There we go. No, just let it despawn. I really like our corner fortune. And I really like how we don't <laughs> we don't have armor on anymore. That's really cool. I really love that. Also, I've been doing some work with the solars. <laughs> As you can see, I've been making a bunch of them off screen. I feel like that... that that's a little loud. Why... I feel like they shouldn't have, the jetpack shouldn't have noise. But yeah, I've made a bunch more solars. Um, uh, since I have the recycler, oh, I also <laughs> upgraded the my other MF you thing. I forgot the name of it, but I upgraded to an MFFS. So now I have both of them MFFS. This is, and now we have over twenty. Well, we have twenty million EU in storage, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I've been using the compressor along with the uh, mass fab to create a bunch of UU matter, and I've been running through all of our cobble. Let's look at our cobble now. We don't even have any more cobble left. Do we have any more dirt? Because I've been using dirt as well. Yep, out of dirt. Sugar cane is what's going to be going next. You know, just taking a bunch of it. Really, it doesn't really matter because I can. I mean, sugar cane. Oh no, no. Um, that's a correct. That's the compressor. There we go. But yeah, I've just been running through there, grabbing scrap. You know, with sugar cane, I have unlimited supply. Really, I do. I just have unlimited <laughs> sugar cane. So, yeah, you could be using that for, like, scrap and stuff. You know, just getting hit here and there and just throwing it in here and just running the mass fab. Unfortunately, as of right now, uh, we can't have the mass fab going all the time. And I really don't like that. I hate that. I know um, when we had the Jenny set up, I know we had 200 EU a tick and we were able to run the mass fab without worrying about anything else. But as of right now, we're not up to that point. I don't even think we're over 100. Let me look. Let's count this, because I still haven't counted it in a while. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven of the advanced solars, which do e eight EU a tick, so that's 56. 56, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. 38 plus 56 is a number. Uh, 90, 94? No. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a number. It's not 100 yet, so we're not over 100. I don't think I am. 56 and 930. I don't know. You guys can throw it in the comment section. I, my brain hurts. Uh, I, I don't do math. <laughs> I don't do math when it, on vacay. I'm, you know, during the summer, you know, school and stuff. <laughs> Goodbye. I don't need any of that in my life. But yeah. I, we might be doing 100 EU a tick. I don't know. I don't think we can run the mass fab yet, though. Let's let's go ahead and just check it. Let's see. We have the. Let's actually take the scrap out. Just having this go all the time. Are we gaining power? No, we're way losing power. Yeah. There's no. Yeah, we can't. We can't run the mass fab yet without. Uh, even with amplification, this thing's still going down. But yeah, we can't have the mass fab going all the time, unfortunately. So, we can't just have on-demand uh, UU matter. So that's a thing. I'm, that really sucks because I'd really like to bump up my solars even more. I, I I have a plan to do the last two two ca the last two cap and then start you know you know turning all these into advanced solar panels. But unfortunately, we just don't have the UU matter for it. So disconnect that. And I don't want to just run it all the time. Unfortunately, because that's going to drain our power. And right now, uh, right now we have this one's all the way full, and this one is up to two million. So we have 12, 12 million in storage right now, and it's constantly going up until it hits the cap of 20 million. So, yeah. That's a thing. Power words, blah, 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 blah. We don't need any of that. Okay. I've been thinking on where to put the base. And I already told you guys I want to put it on the water somewhere, and I hate these. Come on, chunk errors. Load. Thank you. But yeah, I've been looking around. I, I don't know. I want to have like this deep in like this deep part of the ocean where it's like it's easier to work with you know what I'm you know what I mean but I just I haven't found anything yet that I really really enjoy so what I'm gonna probably be doing off screen it's probably
probably do some more work. I'm going to be looking around for a little place to put the base and then probably start building it. I don't know. I have to see. I might be start I might get like the foundations laid out and then bring you guys back in and show you guys what I've been doing. So yeah. I'm going to get the work, do some stuff, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay? See you in a bit, guys. All right, guys. Welcome back. As you can see, I'm doing nothing. <laughs> I actually just got done doing a little bit of building. Um our new base is not done, but and hopefully next episode we'll be able to show it off. But yeah, that's all time we have for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. I had a ton of fun today. I don't know about you guys, but I did enjoy. I'm really glad I got this AE stuff going. Oh my goodness, you guys have no idea how easy, how much easier this stuff makes it. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. You know how much I love it. Support the series. Support the channel. It's it's a one click away, and I'm eternally grateful for what you guys do. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys, and I hope all of you have a great and wonderful rest of your day. See ya.